Hey, Dusty, what was the thought process in letting McCullers face the top of that order the third time and the fifth? Well, the thought process was uh, um, the fact that he had, he had, uh, had two good innings, two real good innings. And then they hit a blooper, a homer, and then I couldn't get anybody loose. I mean, you know, it was my decision. Questions? Uh, we'll go to the front row on Dusty's left. Dusty, Carlos Nava from ESPN International. What do you think about Jose Urquidy's performance today after he hasn't been pitching yeah. since um, almost a month? Well, I mean, it was very good. You know, he started out, you know, a little, a little rocky, and then after that, he uh, he settled down and. Uh, you know, it was, it was very good, but, you know, he's been throwing the whole time. And, uh, you know, he's thrown simulated games, he's thrown bullpens, and, uh, you know, he's remained ready. I mean, that was, that was what we needed, so I didn't have to tear up my whole bullpen for the next couple of days. Thank you. Go to the second row right behind you, sir. Dusty, there was a lot of talk about the Phillies being able to, to pick up something on Lance. Is that something that you noticed? No, not really. I mean, <clears throat> you know, Four out of the five homers they hit were off speed pitches. And, and they hit one fastball that Baum hit um, a fastball. Now, that's not anything I notice. I mean, you know, guys are always looking for, for something, always looking to see if they're tipping their pitches. And, um, uh, you know, we didn't say anything. I mean, sometimes they just, they just hit you. You know what I mean? And uh, like I said, uh, you know, who knows, they might have been sitting on all speed pitches because that's what they hit out of the ballpark. Go back to Chandler on your left, Dusty. Overall, Dusty, just kind of what did you think of McCullers' stuff? Or were all the home runs just, did he make too many mistakes? Or, or just kind of how would you kind of assess his overall performance? Uh, well, I mean, it was, uh, was kind of mind-boggling because, you know, he doesn't give up homers. You know, usually he keeps the ball in the ballpark. And, uh, you know, he wasn't satisfied with it. Uh, you know, we were very surprised by it. You know, when it's four to nothing in this ballpark, and you don't want to go through your whole pitching staff because four to nothing, this ballpark is is really nothing the way the ball flies here. And so, um, you know, uh, what can I say? The line score looks bad, but you know, they were just hitting us. Takes a couple more on the second row on your left. Dusty, what did you think Ranger Suarez did tonight to kind of keep you guys off balance? Well, you know, he's mixing uh, his change up. Uh, he was effectively wild a little bit. He kept the ball inside sometime on the right-hand hitters, and then they uh, got him out of there rather quickly. We'll do two more, stay in the second row. Dusty, you gave David Hensley a shot at DH tonight. How would you evaluate how he did? He did pretty good. I mean, you know, he was one for three, you know, with a couple strikeouts. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, you know, for a young player, uh, he was in there because some of the other guys have been struggling. And so, uh, you know, he did, he did pretty good. And we'll go to Gabe, uh, six rows back in the middle. Uh, hey, Dusty, the uh, TV cameras caught uh, Bryce uh, passing on a lot of info to his fellow hitters over there as someone who managed him for a few years, and he's a, obviously a pretty smart player. Mm -hmm. Does that not surprise you much, just whether it was tendencies or whatever he was seeing? No, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, <clears throat> you know, he's a very astute uh, baseball player, very astute person. And uh, that's what teammates do. That's what good hitters do. They pass on whatever information that they can, that they can find and see. And now whether he passed on the information, you know, to, to actually help him, well, that's, that's between him and his teammates. But uh, no, that doesn't surprise me at all. That's, that's what guys are supposed to do. One last one for Dusty. We'll finish up with Kyle. Dusty, the Phillies obviously five homers tonight. This is a, a very, very dangerous offense. Um, mm -hmm. how, how do you navigate an offense like, like this, and, and what kind of threat do they pose? Well, it's pretty evident what kind of threat they pose. <laughs> they can get the ball out of the ballpark, and they can hit. And so, uh, you know, we, we just got to go back to the drawing board and, and, and figure, was it, was it them tonight, or was it Lance tonight, you know, not having his stuff? And so, you know, we'll go back and analyze it. Um, you know, we've had 10 minutes to, to analyze it. That's not very much time. So, uh, you know, we'll go back. We'll figure it out. I mean, last year at this time, 
I think we lost game three in Boston 12 to three, and then we went back and refigured some things, and then we ended up winning that series. Dusty, thanks so much. We'll see you yep. tomorrow.